thank you very much for joining us. I was hoping you could just introduce yourself and uh, tell listeners a little bit about yourself and what you're going to talk about to start us off today. Daniel, yes, thank you for having me on, firstly. Um, so, yeah, I, I, uh, I started a business about a year ago called um, Queen's Park Wines. And the idea really behind the business was I love my organic wines and there are so many fantastic organic and biodynamic wines out there that people just can't get hold of and they just don't know about them. And, you know, it was to kind of um, spread the word about all these lovely wines and the fact that they're, they're healthier and they're nicer. And, you know, that's, that's really why I started the business. And, you know, a year on, it's doing quite well, really. And I suppose you want to let people know more about organic wines and uh, what the differences are between them and others. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the obvious one really is um, with organic and biodynamics, you're not allowed to use any harmful chemicals. So you can't spray the crops, uh, you can't use synthetic fertilisers, and um, there are no harmful additives allowed in the wine. So, you know, generally speaking, the wines will not be harmful, should we say. I, I, I'm not sure I'm allowed to say they're actually healthy. Um, but, you know, you don't need to be a scientist to work out that if, if you're putting bad stuff in, in, in what you consume, then it's probably going to harm you. Um, also, the fact that, you know, uh, there are so many good wines out there that, um, you know, it's just to try and bring all these wines together in one list so people know where to get them and can enjoy lovely, healthy wines. And I understand there is quite a lot of interest in this as well. Absolutely. Organics is booming. You know, as, as awareness uh, grows about um, the damage to the environment and, and all the health risks associated with pesticides and, and, and the chemicals used in food and beer and wine, etc. You know, people are, are really, really seeking out organic produce now. And there's so many small producers, um, not just in the UK, but all over the world who are, who are switching to organic now. Um, partly because they want to be responsible, but also, you know, uh, responding to kind of market forces, really. I mean, if everybody's looking for something, then then chances are you're going to want to sell it. I assume there are, um, you know, health benefits as well. Well, um, I, as, as, as a seller of wine, I have to be careful what I say. Um, but, you know, most of my customers report that um, if they drink organic or even more so with biodynamic, um, that they don't get a hangover. So, so I mean, that, that, that's quite an important thing. And, and, and then it's just, you know, the fact that you're drinking a clean and naturally produced product that, that hasn't harmed the environment. So, so, yeah, absolutely. You know, I think it's fair to say that they are healthier, should we say. I suppose some of the other things people might ask is, is it, you know, still a, a good wine or can you really tell any difference? Well, interesting question. And, you know, I, I'm often asked by customers and people about my business, you know, are organic wines any good? Is, is, and I often cite the analogy. Imagine if you had uh, two artists, for instance, and they both had to paint a portrait. One uses organic canvas, organic paints and brushes, etc. And the other guy just uses whatever he has to hand. You know, which one produces the best picture or portrait, should I say? Um, it depends on the artist. First and foremost, you have to be a good winemaker, and and it is a craft and a skill. So organic wine does not necessarily mean a good wine, and 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 that's really why I started this business because there are loads of organic wines out there. Some are good and some are not, and I go out and I find all the best ones. Biodynamics, on the other hand, is 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 a bit of a different thing because biodynamics is very very involved and 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 if you take it on you're clearly very passionate about what you do i mean it's it's incredibly complicated they follow the biodynamic calendar which says that you can only do certain things at certain times and then they have all sorts of rules and regulations and stuff so it kind of follows logically that if you become a biodynamic producer you really care about what you do and you are deeply passionate about it so uh, you tend to find that biodynamic wines are a much safer bet. If, if, if you're buying blind and you haven't tried the wine, if you buy biodynamic, you you very, very unlikely that you'll be disappointed. Organic, uh, not so true. You know, again, you know, there are good winemakers and there are bad winemakers in organic. And, and that's really what I do. That's the crux of Queen's Park Wines, really, is to go out and find all the best organic and biodynamic wines. And so people know when they buy from me, you know, they're getting a good wine. They're absolutely assured a good wine. Was there anything else you'd like to cover or get over to our listeners? Well, I just, you know, I, I the, part of the reason I started this was my concern for personal health and concern for the health of the environment. I, I'm still bemused why we are spraying all these, these chemicals.
chemicals all over the earth and all over the land and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I really do encourage people just to uh, think about what they buy and what they consume. And, you know, if you do drink wine, try and seek out a good organic one and try and seek out, even better still, a good biodynamic wine. And I, I trademarked the term recently, um, every wine's a winner um, for my business. And, and everyone is a winner or every wine is a winner because the producers are winners because you're supporting small producers. Um, the consumer is a winner because they're drinking something that's not harmful. And the environment is a winner because we're promoting the, um, the stopping, stopping the use of, of harmful chemicals in the environment. So if our listeners would like to find out um, more information, where can they go? Well, obviously, I'm going to promote my own website. So it's, it's queenspark.wine, all the W's, queenspark.wine. Uh, and I've got lots of information about all my wines. And, and I send a message about the, the whole environmental and health impacts as well. But uh, if you want to know a little bit more about organics, then um, check out the soilassociation.org. And biodynamics is biodynamic.org.uk. And they've got lots of information about the, um, uh, these methods of farming. Well, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out to uh, talk to me today. Thank you, Daniel. It was a pleasure.